Hello everyone, Alok here. So in this video, we'll be discussing how exactly we can implement artificial intelligence towards lead new test. This is a, just a demo a demo video. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So in order to uh, demonstrate that, uh, what I've done, I've created two uh, projects, two Selenium profiles, I mean, Selenium <clears throat> test. This is a basic journey of enter username, password, and clicking on sign up. And the URL that I've used here is enter test. So this is the positive scenario. Let me run it. So as you can see, it has launched a lambda test URL and uh, it has clicked username and uh, password. Now it will click on login button. Okay, so this is a positive scenario. Okay. So in most of the cases, we face an issue, like sometimes the attributes get changed and the test get failed. So let's see what happens in the normal scenario. So I put a break point on the click button. Uh, the reason I've done that because I'll change this uh, attribute of the login button on the runtime. So as you can see, username and password has been already entered. So what I'll do, uh, change the attribute of this. So let me change it to, you can see uh, it's a button tag and the type is input and the class is something and the text is login. Let me change this to click. Okay. So now you can see instead of login, click is mentioned here and I'll close it. And here, if you will see in the login button, I'm checking for an XPath text as login. So I'm sure that it should fail. Let me resume the test. So I've resumed it. And you can see it got failed. Right? And you can see the logs here. Uh, no such element because it was looking for uh, an element with X path of login button. Login. Now let's see how we can overcome this scenario using AI in our Selenium suit. Okay. So as of now, <clears throat> this is the same test and uh, more sort of everything is similar. Just only for the exception case, I've implemented AI to check the correct attributes of the element. So let, this is since this is the positive scenario, let me rerun it again uh, from AI. So what will happen? It will uh, pass through as uh, earlier case was also happening. So it won't fail. And in the next scenario after this, what we'll do, we'll just change the element in the dynamic, uh, I mean dynamically, just to evaluate how it is working fine because it was getting failed in the earlier scenario where AI was not implemented. So you can see this test got passed because it found all the elements, all the attributes, all the elements under all the attributes. Now what we'll do, we'll put a breakpoint here on the click on sign in button and what I'll do, we'll use a So it will provide, it will input username and password and wait for the login button because we have used a debugger on that. So you can see here, uh, username and password has been entered. And as of now, the button is logged in. The text, what I'll do, I'll just change the button text to click. You can see button has been changed. Now, <clears throat> let me try to run the scenario, resume it, resume it and you'll see. It has handled this and it has clicked on. So, yep, yeah, that's all for this. Thank you.